Hello friends, this video on playing with numbers part 9 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Rule. So based on whatever we have learned about the divisibility rules so far, let us quickly look at a few questions. Question number 1. If 3, 1, Z, 5 is a multiple of 9, where Z is a digit, what is the value of Z? Now, if this number is a multiple of 9, that means the sum of the digits is also a multiple of 9. That means what is the sum of the digits? 3 plus 1 plus Z plus 5, which is equal to 3 plus 1, 4, 4 plus 5, 9. So 9 plus Z, that would be the sum of the digits. So as per the rule, sum of the digits should also b a multiple of 9. Now what is that value of z which when put here will make 9 plus z a multiple of 9. So if z is equal to 0 in that case this value would be 9 plus 0 so 9 is a multiple of 9. So z is equal to 0 is a possible value. If you put z is equal to 1 then it becomes 9 plus 1 which is 10 that is not multiple of 9. Now the first multiple, when you look at the multiples of 9, the first multiple is 9. What is the second multiple? That is 18. So in order to get 18, the value of z should be 9. Right? So if you put z as 9, so 9 plus 9 will be 18, which is a multiple of 9. So z is equal to 0 and z is equal to 9 are the two possible values that z can take as a digit. Question number 2. If 24x is a multiple of 3 where x is a digit what is the value of x again the same thing so 2 plus 4 plus x is what 6 plus x so 6 plus x should also be a multiple of 3 now for this to be a multiple of 3 what are the various multiples of 3 3 1 is a 3 3 2 is a 6 3 3 is a 9 3 4 is a 12 3 5 is a 15 and so on now, x can take a value between 0 to 9 because x is a, x is a digit. So, x can take values only uh, from 0 to 9. So, if x is equal to 0, then what will be this value? 6 plus 0, that is 6, which is a multiple of 3. So, this is a possible value. If x is equal to 1, then it becomes 7. So, 7 is not a multiple of 3. If x is equal to 2, then it becomes 8. 8 is again not a multiple of 3. But if x is equal to 3, then it becomes 9. So 9 again is a multiple of 3. Next multiple is 12. So what you should add to get 12? You have to add 6. So x is equal to 6 is also a possible value. What is the next multiple of 3? That is 15. So what should you add to 6 to get 15? You have to add 9. Next one would be 18, but to get 18, you will have to add 12. So x cannot be 12 because, it's, because x is a digit. So therefore, these are the only possible values that x can take. x can be 0 or 3 or 6 or 9. So with this, we have reached towards the end of this lesson. And I hope that you got an idea that divisibility by 2, 5 and 10 depends only on the last digit of the number. Divisibility by 4 depends on the last two digits of the number whereas divisibility by 3 and 9 depends on the sum of the digits of the number. So with this I would conclude this lesson. See you all in the next lesson. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.